19 year old Angel Mercado Casio died last night at the hospital after being crushed by a wooden dugout that collapsed on top of him Monday afternoon. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz has been following the story. She joins us now live from Harrisburg and she has the latest. Evan, just a devastating outcome. You can see the balloons over my shoulder that were just placed here by a community member in the exact same spot where that dugout collapsed on top of Angel. Now, earlier I spoke with his teammates and with his coach who was here on Monday when the accident happened. He told me this morning that he hadn't gone home from the field since the accident occurred. He feels completely responsible and says every time he tries to go home, Angel just calls him back to the ball field. He was my favorite guy in the world. 19 year old Angel Mercado Ocasio passed away at a Cumberland County Hospital Tuesday night from a traumatic head injury. He was hospitalized Monday after a makeshift dugout collapsed on top of him at the 7th and Radnor ball field. Angel had the biggest heart. He was an innocent kid. I just wonder like why it had to be him. Angel, his coach and teammates were taking down the dugout they put up themselves after the city told them they didn't have a permit to build on the property. I don't want to be a knucklehead going against anybody, but when they told me I had to take it down, I'll wait and I did. But taking it down cost my kids their life. Coach Cuba, as his players call him, blames himself. I tried my best to protect it. I get mad at them. I tell them, please stop playing around. You know, uh, but kids will be kids, and, and yes, I still feel responsible. Mercado Ocasio was a second baseman who also played at Central Penn College. He was known as one of the hardest working players, and while he was just under five feet tall, those who knew him say he had the biggest heart. First guy to be on the field, always look out, give people rise, uh, he share with everybody. <sighs> that was my angel. Harrisburg's mayor spoke on Wednesday, expressing the city's prayers and condolences for one of its own. He died helping others around the sport he loved. It's heart wrenching. Angel embraced so many people and now we need to embrace his memory. Meanwhile, players also want Coach Cuba to give himself grace. He thinks it's his fault, but I feel like it's not his fault. It's just like, I know the city, I feel like since he built it up and the city told him to take it down, I think the city should have came and take it down. And as of right now, the city says no legal action has been taken against it. The city also does not have plans to take legal action of its own against the coach or other players. Reporting live in Harrisburg, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.